Donald Trump, Canada's organized labor, the NDP, the rest of the self-proclaimed progressive left want to punish consumers through the use of import taxes, tariffs, for buying something made in another country. I mean, that's the consequences of their anti-free trade stance. In the process, they're also willing to restrain the opportunities for growth for individuals and companies by inviting trading partners to initiate reciprocal trade barriers. In return, they want to protect workers in uncompetitive industries. But it's got to be noted that protectionism favored by Mr. Trump and Canada's anti-free trade contingent won't save workers from technological substitution, which has resulted in far greater job losses than foreign imports. But that's not the only aspect of trade that they misunderstand, not by a long shot. Quick example, in opposing NAFTA, Trump continually offered the simplistic argument that it's a terrible deal because the U.S. runs a $61 billion trade deficit with Mexico and $15.5 billion deficit with Canada. Well, that's nothing that a depression won't cure. In a depression, U.S. businesses and consumers won't buy as much, so demand for imports is going to fall. Presto, the trade deficit declines. The point? The U.S. trade deficit is a mark of its comparable economic strength, not weakness. The more popular solution, of course, by anti-free trade advocates is adding an import tax in order to make them less attractive, which in turn will reduce imports. Mr. Trump's threatened to put in tariffs as high as 40 percent. There's going to be some serious negotiation regarding changing NAFTA. This is a very complex deal involving $1.1 trillion U.S. in trade that goes far beyond the simplistic trade deficit bad surplus good caliber of thinking. My name is Mike Campbell. Join me Saturday for Money Talks.